inside this rearmost port, and I'm going to try to angle it down there if you can see that, is your idle jet. That I've got here is a motor that I keep around to show people the kind of things that you, the, the catastrophic things that you can run into. This, okay, this bearing is replaceable. This web is not. This is called a web. This web is not replaceable. If you've got rust there, and I'm going to rotate this around, and if you can see it, we've also got rust right here. That's all rust. You put your finger over it to make sure that circlip don't go flying out into your eye. There it goes. It'll come right on out. The next thing we want to do a, a quick inspection on is how much have the bearings spun in their castings? Look at the particles come out. But we don't want to let that water get inside here because all those particles, some of those particles are going to go inside. Is you want to spray along each pleat. You don't want to use it in a circular motion. You don't want to go this way. What I wanted to show you here is just exactly what provision 8 means. This is a provision 8 engine. This is the PTO end of it. If you notice the, the bolt holes for the gearbox, there are eight of them. There are some screws in the side here that are threaded. These are not to be plugged up. The only service that's really required on this gearbox, on a B gearbox, is that once every hundred hours you need to replace these beveled washers. Uh, these, are, these are actually called spring washers. Of course, when you want to drain it, you drain it out of the bottom. I'm going to show you this new one because I don't know from the last engine teardown if you really got a picture. But if you notice, that is simply a magnet sitting in a recess called an E-clip. And that E-clip is very simple to take off. Get my bigger screwdriver. It just simply pops out. And that paw, which is what it's called, will simply slide back. Once it slides back, it will pop out and we have our recoil Place, replace the rope we've got a 582.99 version uh, that's come in for maintenance uh, it's a five year old engine you might ask how I know that uh, what do you see inside there That was the back of the shaft that was going. Let's see how. Yep, oh, popped loose but didn't fall out. And she's off. Take your button off so you don't lose it. They make markings for it. And now, as you see, our head's loose. I want to tilt this down. Now, this one's loose. So it's just starting to stick. You screw it in. Oh, it's backing it out. And that just held all that together. Okay, I'm going to do here is take the bottom half of the case out and look how dirty 
which turns on this side the rotary valve and on this side the water pump impeller. And all I'm trying to do here is take this nut off because once you take the crankshaft out the whole whole shaft will spin. You have nothing to stop it. Hear it pop. Now if you notice the seal got depressed there. That's right on 40. So we go around it moves slightly. A lot of people make a big deal out of how do I get this dang thing off. Uh, it's really very simple. Uh, there are three clips on it and I'm going to tilt the engine just to show you one of them. My air tool is going to get going here. I'm just going to pull the head bolts off. There's four in each head. I simply remove that. Indication of a head leak. Uh, it was definitely worse on one side than the other and it may have been caused by not, somebody not knowing about the tilting of the head and uh, it's a little hard to see but these are not crosshatch marks they are just spun marks they're just going around in a circle Cro here it pop it's off all you do then is simply pull it off and there's what the inside of your flame. If you ever do a decarb on an engine, you want to pull the pistons off. Don't let anybody convince you that you can put cardboard over the top here and do a good job of decarboning your engine. Uh, that is because after they cut this and surface it, they bolt it back together again and they line bore these holes. Okay. Uh, and once they get out of line, the casting is no good. Uh, and the primary reason that they get out of line is, is bearing spinach. What, what's happened here these bearings have spun to the point that that they need to be this needs to be bolted back together and miked. Uh, I can feel the lip right there. 